What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, Elon Musk recently thanked advertisers for coming back to Twitter. And I think that it's a couple of different ways that we can mine this out. And this is just a quick hit. But I just want to keep you guys up to date on what's going on and why things are happening the way that they're happening. And that um, since Elon Musk has bought the company, there's been a lot of changes and the evolution of Twitter, in which I think is a great thing. I've even started using it myself. Um, and he's also indicated that there's been a significant amount of growth that's come along with the platform as far as users uh, joining the platform. But let's let's mine this through, right? So Apple uh, resumed advertising on Twitter, and Elon Musk said on Sunday, um, and reports have emerged that Amazon is also planning to restart advertising on Twitter at about $100 million per year. However, Amazon, Apple, and Twitter have not said anything publicly. Now, one thing that we need to mine out on top of this is that uh, Elon Musk did recently uh, meet with Tim Cook, who was the CEO of Apple at Apple's headquarters, because he had put them in a weird position, right? And that weird position was basically him saying, yo, why is Apple removing themselves from our platform? Why are advertisers feeling the need and the pressure to remove themselves from our platform now? I am one of those type of people that is starting to make the adjustment, and I think that a lot of people are silently and publicly doing it also, and that we are divesting ourselves against the brands that ultimately uh, decide that they want to get political or they want to move based off of whatever the liberal policies are, right? I don't like my companies to get political. I just want them to give me great products and stay out of the process. Um, let's continue. Uh, the news further, uh, this is news. The news is a further sign of de-escalation of a brewing war between advertisers and Twitter. Uh, as the Bloomberg report, Musk asserted during a Twitter space, his conversation on Saturday, adding that Apple is the largest advertiser on the social media network. The billionaire who didn't elaborate further on Apple spoke for more than two hours from his private plane during a chat, which had more than 90,000 90, listeners. Earlier this month, Musk met Apple Chief uh, Executive Officer Tim Cook at the iPhone Maker's headquarters, signaling uh, a dente and, or is that, what is that, a detin? <laughs> In a war brewing between the technology companies, Musk posted on Twitter at a, uh, of a pond at the Apple Park headquarters uh, where a shadow of the Twitter owner and Apple's top executive can be seen briefly a few hours after the meeting, Musk said that the two had a good conversation and resolved the misunderstanding about Twitter potentially being removed from the App Store. Uh, Musk said the Apple CEO was clear that Apple never considered doing so. And then you see that, uh, you know, you got the video, whatever, so on and so forth, talking about taking them around Apple's headquarters and all of that. Um, it must be noted that Musk recently blasted Apple, accusing the iPhone, the maker of iPhones and Mac computers, mostly of stopping advertising on Twitter. And since he's taken over Twitter, uh, a range of companies has suspended advertising on Twitter, including General Mills, Pfizer, um, basically trying to force them to revise their policies, which their policies actually never changed as far as misinformation, hate speech, and so on and so forth. Musk bought the company, came in and fired half the company, forced out a bunch of other people, and basically what you've seen was a lot of middle management, a lot of lazy developers, a lot of people that were making a lot of money, which is one of the reasons why it's important for you to be able to scale down and then kind of run like, like a startup versus running like a large company because uh, you get less done. You have no visibility into what people are taking care of. You run more lean and you 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 get more done, right? And so misinformation, I think, is on the hat on the behalf of the people that thought that the platform was gonna go down. And you got these policymakers and these lawmakers and all of this other type of stuff, and they're not necessarily adding any value. And so as a result, they can say whatever they want to say when they want to say it. Um, but over time you see that A he has enough sway and power and he can get in the room into where he can actually um, give people a better, more insight and information as to how it is that he's going to do things. B, I think that he's a maverick and he's a trailblazer and that he's actually putting companies in a better position in which other companies are now saying that, A, you got to return to work. B, where's the bloat? 
C, we need to get rid of all of these these layers and middle management so that we can run lean and, and run like a startup. And then D, um, I think that the biggest thing about this was that he had also threatened to possibly create his own platform and his own phone and his own um, user experience as far as being able to put his own application if they had ever decided that they wanted to pull advertising off of the platform. This speaks to a couple different things in my opinion. A, the first thing is that never underestimate, uh, underestimate Elon Musk. B, these companies want to avoid any kind of potential war, whether they would win it or not. How much bloodshed would you have as a result of going to war with, a, with a, another behemoth rather than joining a team? And so I think that the biggest thing that we also have to take into consideration is how do we move throughout our lives to where we make long-term strategic decisions versus uh, short-term emotional decisions in which you go woke, you go broke, right? Um, another thing that we need to take from this is that Amazon is saying that, yo, we about to resume spending on um, advertising and we're going to spend it at a tune of about $100 million a year. At least. At least $100 million a year. I think that uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter, however overpriced he bought it for, was the right move. And I've been saying it for a long time. Um, but more importantly, I think that he's doing the, the best that he can. And he's showing you how to quickly get change versus Twitter that was never going to be profitable in the first place, which was one of the reasons why I was questioning why the shareholders was even revolting against the possibility of them buying a company anyway. But anyways, I want to know what y'all thoughts are. Let me know what y'all thoughts are. Elon Musk has basically, I don't want to say bully, but negotiated and that he helped, he helped these CEOs to better understand why they should continue to do business with Twitter, because it is a growing platform. It is a central hub for people that want to communicate with each other quickly um, without having to make a whole, take a picture and make an Instagram post. Um, and then more importantly, I think that it's important for other people like the Trumps and all of them, if they want to ever really make a dent and get, get in front of this whole presidential election, I think it's important for them to get on these platforms so that they can really communicate more effectively. And I think that we we can't just divest ourselves against these platforms because they already got they're already too big unless there's something else to replace it. I'm not walking away from YouTube no matter what it is that they say. I'm just going to continue to to utilize it in order to mobilize an audience and get visibility for the things that I'm doing outside of it. It's a strategy behind it. So um, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. I'm dropping a Patreon exclusive video today this afternoon right after the live stream. Um, and then more importantly, I want to know what y'all thoughts are. Do y'all think that um, Elon Musk or do you trust that Elon Musk knows what's best for the platform and that uh, he is doing the thing that makes the most sense? Or do you think that uh, Twitter will eventually go down anyway? I heard that Twitter was losing money when he first bought it to the tune of about $4 million a day. That's insane. Anyways, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.